Hey there folks, Tornado Twins here from UnityPrefabs.com and I'm here to demo another exciting prefab and this is the click controller. So if you're making any game that is a top-down game like for example a tower defense game or a, uh, a sort of an RPG or somewhere a game where you click and the character needs to walk there then this uh, click controller or point click camera is something that you can use. Now I'm in the scene view right now and I can rotate around the character and as you can see the entire level is completely 3D. Now ignore the cubes that are hanging in the air here, these are just to show off the uh, physics that happen when we start the game. But as soon as we start the game you'll notice that the camera will be viewing from the top. If I uh, select the camera here you can see that it's actually angled down with a slight angle to show the 3D information. Of course, you can change this angle a little bit if you like. Now, let's start the game here, and you can see that we have now a top down game, and we have a character that is currently selected. Now, in a point click game, it's not like a strategy game where you select multiple troops and then move them around. In this case, it's just one character. Of course, you can switch that character over time. For example, in games like uh, Behind Enemy Lines, Commandos, that sort of thing, you know. And if I click, the camera will smoothly follow him and it looks really nice. Now, the trick here, why it feels so smooth, is that the actual player is a uh, rigid body, which is basically physics with a rigid body. Uh, if you're a little familiar with physics, there's also something called a soft body, and that's, for example, a tennis ball or whatever, and when it bounces, it kind of squeezes in. That's a soft body. However, at the point of writing this or recording this, Unity doesn't support soft body physics yet, but it does support rigid bodies. Okay, now, often, if you would make a game, you wouldn't use a rigid body, but you'd make it a character controller, but a character controller only supports two types of movement, using the move function or the simple move function and in this case we used a rigid body instead because it's more smooth and more flexible so that's kind of the secret of why it feels so so good now these boxes here are also rigid bodies so you can see that anything that has physics and stands in the way of the character will be pushed away now in the future we'll also be adding obstacle avoidance and path especially for iPhone so uh, that you can um, make your character walk around corners and that sort of thing pretty smoothly. Now let's uh, take a look at the variables that we can tweak here. Um, let's go and start with the actual camera. We can of course change uh, the panning speed of our camera, our damping or basically the, um, the, 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 the speed that follows it if we change the damping to for example uh, 10 and then I click to move my character you can see the camera follows extremely slow so that's of course a very extreme number if I change that to 2 the camera will follow faster and it's just uh, the look you're looking for is what you can do now of course I would uh, not do it this slow because it has to actually follow the player so that it's still inside of the view now, now it gets really interesting because there's a checkbox here that says follow player now if I don't want to follow the player then all of a sudden it becomes a crawlable camera so if I move my mouse towards the edges of the screen then the camera crawls over the map just like a, a real-time strategy game now this is very handy for a point click game if you want to see what's behind a wall before you take action and just to make sure you're not falling into a trap or something now if you want to tweak the screen edges then you can change that too I would put it to something around 30 that when you move your camera towards the edge it has 30 pixels and as soon as it comes in that range it will start moving the camera so let me uh, tweak the follow player on again and as you can see boom it sinks right back onto the player let me also change the damping again to 0.1 alright next we have the player and the player as said is a rigid body you can change the speed that the player moves if I change it to 2 he's going to move extremely slow if I change it to uh, 20, the player is going to move a lot faster. Pretty hyper here, you know. Actually, a pretty fun effect, depending on what you're looking for. All right then, we have the rotation damping, which is the damping of the rotation of the character. So if he moves to a certain spot, you can see he rotates around 
and then walks or sort of moves at the same time. So depending on your animations that you have for rotating the character, you can use this damping. Now then we have the graphics and if I turn the graphics off here, the mesh renderer, the player is still there. You know, it can still move around. So you can uh, change this graphics part with your character uh, so that it will still work without messing up any of the scripts. So it's very easy to replace your character in any of the unityprefabs.com camera kits. Uh, the controls will still work. So very flexible camera kit once again. And um, keep tracking, follow along, go to unityprefabs.com and make sure you get the newsletter because we release new prefabs every week. Alright, that's it for now and I will talk to you again soon.